All right, what's up, guys? So last week I did nonlinear regression. The week before that I did plotting. So this week I thought I'd do something that's more data focused and how to make HTTP calls or REST calls, REST API calls. So if that all sounds cool to you, please give this video a like and subscribe and let's go into this. So first we have here using HTTP and using JSON and HTTP is the one that's making the REST call, but JSON is a nice way to parse everything. So I use that library as well. And we have two functions. We have a function call. This is doing the bulk of the work. And then function main is just calling the call function. So first, this call function. Now we have this try catch, and I haven't really gone into what a try does, but high level, it's saying try this block code. And if you catch an error, so catch E, return that error. And if it doesn't catch an error, then it will return what this block of code does. Now inside of here, you can see how the response is equal to http.get URL. And this is the actual API call right here, where we're feeding it the URL, we're calling it, we're getting a response. And then here, we're just parsing that response so that we can interact with the object. And if we get an error, then it will catch that. Now in our main, so this is the URL that I'm using in this case, the free API, and we can learn a random cat fact. And here we have the R is equal to call. So this can be what's gonna be returned. And we're gonna print out what that call is. You can see this, uh, this is a pretty dense call and actually API calls can get a lot bigger. So this is actually not that big. <laughs> now, now parsing this is probably the, the next step of how, how to go through what the response is from, from a certain website or certain API. But to just go through this, we can see we start out with an any. So this is an array. This array has a dictionary. And then within this dictionary, there are keys. So let's go a little bit deeper into this. So we have an R1, actually. So we want to see the keys of the dictionary. We know the first element of the array is a dictionary. Okay, so this first thing is that first print LN, and then this line here are all the keys that are associated. And now we, if you want to be diligent, you can print out these specific ones and try to connect it to what part of the object it is. Right now, I'm just going to print this one because this is the fact. It's ln r1 text. So we're getting that key or we're getting that value from that key. Print it all out. Wikipedia has a recording of a cat meowing because why not? Cool. And that's that's pretty much all there is to it. So we made the API call, you have to parse that object and parsing the object really depends on the documentation on that website of how, how complex it is. And depending on your URL, sometimes different calls can get you different responses. So that's another thing you have to look into the API documentation. But once you have this, then you start going through it and you find, okay, what information do I actually care about? Do I want to know all the dates that are associated with these facts? Maybe I want the facts themselves. So Wikipedia has a recording. Maybe I want to know what cats they're associated with, whatever. But that is pretty much all there is to an API call. So if you like that, please give this video a like and subscribe. I also now have an Instagram, which has some stuff on it. I'm building that up. And then there's also a TikTok. There's nothing on there right now, but that's also gonna be built up too. All in the description, follow, Please like, all that stuff. All right, I'm done babbling. I will see you guys next week.